Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how to play Home Age. And at some point, I do think you guys have heard the song at least once in your life. So, uh, what learning? Because it has this. Uh, I don't know if you want to call this like a, a riff, but it's like a skill which we play. So, if you want to like uh, learn a song and on the other hand also practice, I think this is the best way to do it. Because you just got a skill to learn, and you can actually make that uh, intro of a song. So. Uh, that sounds great we are in the standard tuning by the way uh, you guys can see we don't have a cable so we don't need it uh, we have two parts to learn i just played the verse we do have the chorus too which is uh like uh tonight the music seems so loud wish the beat to lose like has that vibe i won't lie uh just a minute yeah so it's it matches with fly me to the moon i think it's fly me to the moon no no it's careless whisper sorry uh so let's have a look at the intro uh, it's basically over here it's on this shape now what i do over here is i start off on the fifth fret of the high e string so and after that on the B string I play 8, 6, 5. One thing is make sure you do alternate picking which is down, up, down, up, down, up. So which means the first rook is down, the second has to be up. And it shouldn't be going down, down. So down, up, down, up. Now I'll go to the G string, I'll play 7, 5. Then on the D string, 8, 7, 5. Then on the E string, 8 fret. And now reverse, go back to D string, play 5, 7, 8. On G string, 5, 7. Then B string, 5th fret. So that's our phrase 1. So we got reverse. And after that, the second phrase, we do this. So over here, I went 8, 6, Five on the B string, eight six five. On the G string, I go seven five. Then on the D string, I go eight seven five. And on the E string, I do this. Eight seven eight. So then I reverse. So I go five seven eight. Then I play G, 5, G7. So you basically go up, go back, repeat the shape. So we got... The third phrase, uh, just have that, we have that creepy note. So what I do over here is I play B string 7, 6, sorry, 6, 5, not 7, 6. Then on G string I play 7, 6. Then on the D string I do this, 9, 7, 5. So these are the creepy notes. And la 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 la. And then I go to the E string and I do this, uh, 8, 7, 5, 4. So we got reverse. So we got. Then 5, 7, 8 on the E string, so then on the D string I go 5, 7. So the third phrase we got. Faster. Then you quickly uh, change your sh shape. So we were in this box, now we'll go to this box over here. I'll do this. Fourth phrase I'll play D9, 11, 12. When I go to G string I'll play 9, 10, 12. When I go to the B string I'll play 10, 12, 14. Go to the high E string play 10, 12, 13. And go to the high E string again and do this. I'll play 15, 17, 18, 17. So we got la 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 la. Da da sorry. Da, 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 da. 
So we got. Oops. You can use your foot as your metronomes. What I'd like to do is. It's not a main song, right? So, uh, shots over to G minor 7, one day I'm sure you're about the third fret of your index. Got your ring finger on A string, fifth fret, one day I'm. Someone wrote a song before. I'll go to a C9 chord now. I have my middle ring pinky on A, G, B, third frets. Then I got my index on D2. So that gives me the C7, then 9. Because someone wrote this song before. Goes to F major 7, I got 3 to 1 on DGB, open high E string. If you want, you can use a thumb to hit the E string first fret. I can tell you where it's from. I think it goes to, I can tell you where it's from. So after F major 7, what you will do is you will use your index and bar the first fret. So it's a B flat major 9, you can also play the chord like this. But I would say for this song, play it like this. Index finger bar on the first fret, second fret on G, third fret on D. So the first four chords. Someone wrote the song before, and I can tell you where it's from. And when it goes to a uh, half diminished chord of E, I got A7, G7, D8, B8. The 4, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, I don't know. And then it goes to A7. You bar the fifth fret like it is for the G minor 7 chord. Then you put your middle finger on G6, your pinky, sorry, your ring finger on A7. Strum the chord once, and then you go to a D minor 7. So you still bar the 5th fret. With the top string we did, I got B6, D7. Strum the chord, then you strum a D7, which will be on the D minor 7 chord, and your pinky on the B string. That's it. So just one fret up, and you get a D7 minor 7. So we got some this song before and I can tell you where it's from the 476 I don't know what it is uh, I don't know the lyrics properly so just made up a bit but uh, after that we move on to our chorus so uh, this is the part I was talking about which is like that Kalis whisper bridge uh, we go to a B flat B diminished B7 So I play a B flat major chord for this chord shape. I take my pinky bar it on third fret of DGB, top string made it, bottom string made it. I got my index on A1. And then I got a B diminished, second fret on A, third fret on D, pinky on B3, G index on G1. So I'll play the diminished chord. I'll go to a G7, 3, 2, open, 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 1. And then you have our F, which you guys know. Bar the first fret, second fret on G, third fret on E and D. So I'll play down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. One more time. And after uh, all this, like you played it twice, you move on to the next line, which goes like this. So I strum a B flat to minor 7, for this I bar the 6th fret, I got E string 8th fret. Then I play a E flat 6, I got top string 4th fret, G string 4th fret, B string 4th fret, D string 3rd fret. Strum the chord, then you go to F sharp major 7, I got E2, B2, 3rd fret on D and G. Then you strum the A7, you open 2nd, open 2nd, open. Repeat that line again. So 
that's basically the four lines which we had for the chorus and that's it after that we do have a solo I don't know how the solo goes but uh, it has the same chord progression it's played on uh, this progression the verse progression and uh, then we have the chorus again and then outro and that's the whole song so I hope the video helps you out let me know what other songs you want to learn for more easy, straightforward and accurate lessons like this out there in YT, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys back in the next video. Till then, bye.